Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tuesday and I love unboxing fashion with all of you. Today I have my first Stitch Fix box of 2022. <sighs> if you followed me in 2021, you know that I probably had my hardest year with Stitch Fix ever. And I have been subscribing to their clothing um, service for years, literal years. Um, but this last year has really been a roller coaster for me with them, with mostly it just being a lot of duds, <laughs> if I'm being quite honest. So I don't even know what to expect from this box. I When I requested it, um, they sent the preview and I rejected everything. It was just... It was just not good. Um, so I don't know what's in this box. I don't know what they sent me. I did send them more clear instructions that hopefully will help, but I guess there's not really anything to do but to get into it. All right, first things first, if you're not familiar with Stitch Fix, it is a styling service uh, where you fill out a questionnaire and then they will send you five pieces for you to try on in the comfort of your own home with things you already have in your closet. Uh, shipping is free both ways. There is a, I believe there's a $25 styling charge on this box. I get confused. I have a lot of boxes, but anyways, I think this one's $25, but it is uh, credited towards anything you decide to purchase in that box. Now I have a style pass membership, so my fee has been waived. I just pay a flat fee for the year, um, which is totally fine. Um, this box, I didn't ask for anything particular when I started. Um, but after I got the preview and everything was terrible, uh, I left them an additional note that said, Hey, this is my style. Like I reiterated what my style was. I told them, Hey, like I'm, I am kind of leaning into the cozy life because it's January. And here are some of my style icons like people that I'm taking cues from right now and the two people that I listed were Harry Styles and Victoria Beckham and that is 100% true I love their style I feel uh, very inspired by what they wear and um have pinned several of their outfits to boards on Pinterest because I just enjoy um that kind of relaxed edgy rocker vibe that they both present so that's what I put in my note Let's see what actually came, <laughs> okay? Uh, the first item they sent me was a pair of earrings. They're by uh, Stella and Ruby. Here they are here. Hopefully you can see those. And they're, it's just like a floral drop or stars maybe, a drop earring here. Um, I like the fact that they're a little bit larger because I do like a larger earring just because I have big short hair and so a bigger earring tends to um, flatter my face a little bit more. I don't know if these are particularly something I would get into but I'll give them a shot. Okay so that's the first item. The next item is this crop tee in kind of a oatmeal color. Um, it's not the most flattering neutral for me because it's not very warm. This is a very cool toned tan, um, but it's kind of a heathered, um, heathered beige maybe. Yeah. Um, it's got a pocket on the front. It does have like a cutoff bottom and a cutoff sleeve. There are some details on it that are kind of nice. This has a double, a double hem neckline and then that double hem is also on the pocket there so that's the second piece the next item in the box is this striped sweater with a puff sleeve on it you guys know i love a good sleeve um this one is by carl lagerfeld paris and i do have several pieces from this line in my closet they um they are made really well and they hold up for a long time. They also have really great resale value if you get tired of them and decide you want to sell them. So, <laughs> um, but anyways, this is a black and gray with the stripes on it. Um, and then it's got like a sweatshirt ribbed hem on the bottom and on the cuff here. This is kind of cute. I don't know if it's like 100% my style, but I totally love this um, detailing here with the uh, Karl Lagerfeld's um, silhouette here. I think this is really cute. It's kind of made from like a plasticky, like a rubbery plastic here. That's really cute. So I'm looking forward to this. Next up is a pair of wide leg pants in a heathered blue. Um, 
when I read through my note from my stylist, she mentioned that she picked these be for me because she saw where I had mentioned I uh, like the style of Harry Styles. And so she said she looked him up and she was like, yeah, I see he wears a lot of wide look pants. So I wanted to send you a pair. And so she sent me these. I believe these pants are like the long version of a cropped pair that I got over the summer from Stitch Fix. They look very similar. They have the same vibe with this, um, with this patch front pocket here. And then the belt that loops through that pocket right here and the double button on the front, which it's not an actual fly. These are an elastic waist pant, so you just pull them on. But the ones that I have are a really pretty kind of coral color and I love them. I wear them like all the time. Um, but this looks like a long version of those. It has that same wide, uh, wide seaming for the hem and um, same kind of lightweight feel to them. I think it's like a linen blend or something like that. And then the back pockets. So this could be a winner. The final thing in this box is actually a pullover, which is not really my jam, but okay. <laughs> Here it is. Um, and if you y'all, you know, follow me, you know, there's nothing about this that feels like Tuesday. It has kind of a little bit of a fair aisle feel to it but okay it's like a Sherpa I believe it's by North Face and I'm gonna be honest with you guys I'm pretty sure that the reason they sent me this piece is because the North Face is a new label for them if I'm not mistaken and so they're probably just sending like a North Face piece to everybody because not only is this by the North Face and not really my style but it's also a little bit pricey we'll get to the pricing though um, when we get to the recap Okay, those are the five pieces in the box. Let's do a try on so that you guys can really get a chance to uh, see each one of these pieces and we can talk through it a little more. I wanna start with the Karl Lagerfeld sweater. Okay, I had high hopes for this sweater um, because I really just love this label. However, it didn't quite work out as well as I wanted it to and let me tell you why. Um, mostly it's the striping for me. It just makes me look very wide and boxy, which is something I don't really need. Um, perhaps if it was striped differently it would have been better because I own plenty of striped shirts I particularly like like a black and white classic stripe um but I think it's the contrast of colors plus the fact that um they go all the way across the arm and the body with the contrasting I don't know something about this just makes me feel very very boxy the other problem that I have with this shirt is that the sleeves are just a little bit too short for me um so unless I'm gonna be wearing them pushed up all the time, that's gonna be a problem. And I talked about this in my last video uh, that I did with Fashion about the sleeves and me having a long arm span. So if, you know, they fall at a certain point, then I just look like very lanky, like my uh, bottom of my arm is just kind of sticking out of the sweater. And that's how I feel with this one. That being said, um, on somebody else, I think this would be really great. I love the kind of 80s vibes that I'm getting from this. It has that like old man sweater kind of feel to it, except they've made it feminine with this puff sleeve, which is very on trend right now. Um, and I love the colorway on this. I think, I think if this had just been a slightly different design, I would have really loved this sweater. Okay, let's talk about these pants. These are a keeper for me. First of all, they're long enough, <laughs> which is something that like never happens. I have a 33 inch inseam, which makes finding pants a little bit difficult for me. Usually they're either too long or too short and I just kind of have to adjust, but these are perfect. Um, plus they're this great kind of linen, -y, linen fabric or linen blend. Um, and the pants that I have that are, are like this, that are cropped, I wear them all year long, um, just because of obviously the weather conditions that I have here in Southern Arizona. These are going to be so perfect. I love that they have a kind of denim feel to them, but not quite as heavy or um, structured, I guess. Um, so there's going to be a lot of things that I can pair these up with. I love the waist on these. Super, super comfortable. Um, the, um, the tie on here really helps to define the waist. Um, I find that on my other pair of pants that are like this, um, they just, I don't know, it just helps, it just helps with the visuals. So I love these pants. They're super comfortable. 
There's nothing about them I don't love. I uh, really like that the patch pocket is um, blended into the rest of the fabric here so it doesn't add any bulk like visually to the hip or the, the, um, or the waist. So yeah, these are great pants. Sorry they're wrinkled in the video, but I will tell you these are a keeper for me. Okay, let's move on to this, um, this t-shirt. This is by Threads for Thought um, and they sent this to me in a large. Okay. There are some really cute details on this top. Like I said before, the double uh, the double layered hem here and on the pocket as well. That being said, there's not enough details on here to make this shirt like worth purchasing. Um, one other thing that I will note is that the tag here says it is responsibly made from sustainable fabrics, which is a bonus in my book. But I mean, if I really wanted to be sustainable, I would go to the thrift store, I would buy a t-shirt, I would crop it like this and crop the sleeves and not buy something new. That's what I would do. Like, I don't, I can't justify buying this, this shirt at all. Um, I could literally just rip off a shirt from my, you know, uh, husband's wardrobe and, and have the same shirt and, and not have like, you know, created more, <laughs> more to add to the world's clothing. Um, so anyways, the other thing I don't like is this pocket. Um, if you're somebody who's busty like I am, you know that a lot of times adding pockets can just add bulk to the chest. And when you're already larger, you don't want anything that's going to visually add more bulk. And that's exactly what this pocket does. Um, if I was even going to consider this shirt, it would have to have no pocket on it. I have nothing against the crop. It actually crops at a really nice place for me. And I do have shirts that I have cropped um, for the reason of, of um, having that visual waistline. It just brings the eye up. It makes me look a little bit leaner. You can see my whole, um, you can see my whole leg and I like my legs are one of my best assets. So I love to show off like how long they are and having a cropped top can help that visual. I also love to wear uh, crop tops over a collared shirt where the shirt is a little bit longer and, and falls out underneath the uh, t-shirt. So I do that a lot as well, but yeah, I'm not paying for this. Okay. Can I please tell you that I'm a little bit surprised by this uh, Sherpa hoodie? Wow. <laughs> okay. Let me just tell you what I don't like so we can get that out of the way because there's not a lot. I'm, I'm not a fan of the colorway. Okay. I don't really love this pattern. Um, if this was in a solid color or I don't know, some like some other pattern, I might have actually considered this. Okay. Let me get to the good stuff here. First of all, this was really cute little hood. So if you are out somewhere and the weather is a little cold or cool, which I've had a few days like that. You just pull this up over your head and boom, warm. Um, yeah, it's just like, it's the perfect kind of hoodie. Now I have a lot of hair, so getting it underneath this hoodie would be a little difficult, but I feel like this is very practical. I also love the fact that it zips all the way up. So you are, if you're somebody who needs to keep warm, like it's going to keep your whole neck ears warm. Like you're just going to see your little face. <laughs> peeping through this through this hoodie all right um but even still without zipping it all the way up it I mean it just lays very nicely this thing is warm y'all okay this is not for the faint of heart so if you're somebody who runs hot already and you live somewhere that's warm like in the you know uh, Southwest like I do, then maybe this isn't for you, but I run cold. Okay. And the minute it drops below 60 degrees, I'm freezing. So, <laughs> all right, that's just how I roll. Um, so this would be perfect for me. There are plenty of days when the temperatures drop into the fifties or forties, although it's not happening right now, though, like winter weather may be fully behind us. But, um, for those days when it did, like I could have really used this. I could also see myself just chill it out in my house in this in lieu of like wrapping myself in a blanket um, because it's just that cozy. It feels amazing. It's so soft. Like I just want to keep petting it. It feels so good. It's got this kangaroo pocket on the front. Okay. And what I love about this kangaroo pocket is that it zips on both sides. So unlike most kangaroo pockets that are open, you won't lose anything. If you put something inside of here, you're not going to like, you know, 
lose your keys or lose your wallet or phone or whatever you put in this pocket because it's not open. These zip securely, okay? So they zip all the way up and then there's this flap that goes over the front to keep everything secure. So yeah, the details and the design that has gone into this, this piece are phenomenal. I mean, it's just amazing. I love the, the, all the detailing here. So this, um, sleeve keeps kind of close to the body. Also love that the sleeves are super long. Now this is a longer piece. So, um, it's definitely gonna like fit over like a hip in, in rear situation. Um, one of the things I kind of didn't care for was the fact that it kind of went into an A-line, I guess, which is great if you're curvy. So, it, you know, it lays well over the body, but it felt almost like a mini dress um, because it's, it's that long. This was sent to me in a, I think it's a large if I'm not mistaken. Oh, it's an extra large. Yeah, it definitely could have sized down in this. Uh, a large would have been plenty big enough. This is, yeah, this is definitely too big for me. Um, but I appreciate the fact that like, you could have layered a sweater underneath this and been comfortable, but like, it, I'm never going to need to be that, <laughs> that, that warm unless I was traveling. Um, so for my life, what I would probably do is just put on a t-shirt or a bodysuit like I have on today underneath this. Um, and a large would have been plenty big enough. So, um, that's why this one looks so oversized on me because it's, it's a size too big. A large would have been fine. Um, there's so many great details about this. I know I'm kind of gushing over this, over particularly over a piece that I was like, mm, yeah, I'm not going to like this. But this turned out to be kind of the surprise hit of this box. I just don't like the pattern. Um, but that being said, I'm glad that she did send it to me because... It has opened my eyes to the North Face as a label. I will definitely be looking into other pieces. Um, maybe not so much for this year because like I said, I'm looking out the window here and I don't know how much winter I actually have left um, in this season. But for next year, for sure, I would be looking at pieces from this brand because I feel like the details are very thoughtful um, and and, and everything just feels really good. Um, so for somebody who really, really needs to keep warm, if you live in a colder climate, this, this, this is it for you. Um, this is a really good piece. Um, if you're going to travel somewhere where it's going to be colder. Yeah. And like I said, I would have never considered the North Face as a brand because I think of them as being very outdoorsy and a little granola and, those are not two things that are synony synonymous with Tuesday. So uh, I definitely wouldn't have considered them, but uh, my eyes have been opened. Okay, I threw these earrings on really quick. I don't think you'll really be able to see them in the camera that well, but um, they're cute. They're fine. Yeah, um, they're not like making me jump up and down or anything. I think you can see them better on the on the card there. Um, yeah, they're fine. I, you know, I'm a hoops girl. Um, and I do have, I mean, I have a, I have a, a good collection of earrings, but, um, 90% of the time I am wearing my hoops. Um, the other 10% I'm wearing my statement studs, probably because I'm out somewhere where I need to be wearing my mask for an extended period of time and don't want to get them caught in my hoops. And so I've gotten a little bit picky about earrings um, just cause I don't see the point in, you know, adding to my collection if I'm not going to be, um, actively wearing them. So these are cute. There's nothing wrong with them. I just don't know that I'm like 100% in love with them. So there's that. Okay. That's everything in this box. I'm going to put my earring back in. Um, I think it's time for a recap. What do you guys think? Let's do it. All right, so it is the next day after I recorded this video. I woke up this morning and went to do the editing and somehow I had lost the recap, like the whole end of the video was just not there. So I have to re-record it. Oh, the other thing is that uh, I of course packaged everything up because once I recorded the video and I tried everything on, I, I was like, very sure about what I was keeping and what I was not keeping. So I checked out and I put everything back in the bag and then I set it out for um, the post office pickup. So it is now outside of my house waiting for a pickup, like all sealed. And I was like, oh crap, like I need to, I need to re-record. 
um, and I don't have the items. So I found pictures of all of the things and I will put them up right here so you guys can see uh, what it is that I'm talking about as we do this recap. All right, let's jump in. We'll start with the Carl Lagerfeld Paris Jolina French Terry Knit Top. Um, it's in uh, dark gray and black. They sent me a size large. It uh, did run true to size. The cost is $68. Okay, I think that's a great price for that piece. Um, that particular label just is just really nice, um, nicely made, and the pieces are just really great. I have several in my closet. I think I mentioned that already in this video. Um, and so I, I, I'm, I'm okay with the pricing. My problem was, of course, that it just made me feel really boxy and wide, and I think it has something to do about the contrasting striping. I'm not quite sure, but something about it just felt very wide on me, and so I didn't really love it. Um, also, didn't really love the fact that the sleeve was just a little bit shorter than I would like it to be. Otherwise, a really great top that a little insignia in the corner though I thought it's just a really great uh, touch that they added to that piece and so overall I really like the piece just not for me next is the Stella and Ruby Desi floral drop earring uh, they are $36 I won't be keeping these earrings they're cute enough or whatever but at $36 I just don't really need them um i didn't love them enough i guess to add them to my collection but they're cute earring and i think they were um i think they were on point with the vibe that i was asking for so credit to mary the stylist for um for giving it some thought and and doing the things Next is the Mason and Bell Melanie Utility Wide Leg Pant. Uh, it's in a blue, it's a size large, and they are $44. First of all, $44 is a steal as far as I'm concerned. The large does run true to size. These are the long sleeve, or sorry, long, um, the long, like the pant version of the crops that I bought over the summer. I love them. I don't have anything to complain about them. Um, they're perfect. I'm, I'm very excited to, to wear them. As a matter of fact, I did decide to keep them and they're in my washing machine as I speak. Next is the North Face Campshire 2.0 Sherpa Pullover. Um, it's in a tan print. They sent me an extra large and it is $159. Okay, the extra large was too big for me. A large would have been fine. Um, the $159, I see exactly where every dollar is. <laughs> this is a well-made item. The details are very thoughtful. Um, so this is something where I think it's worth the cost um, of owning it. Your price per wear, I'm guessing, is going to get really small over time just because it looks like something that's going to last you a long time, something you're going to get a lot of wear out. It's super cozy, so comfy. This is a brand I would not have, like it would not have been on my radar. So shout out to Mary again for putting this in my line of sight. That's what a good stylist should do. They should introduce you to things that you might otherwise turn your nose up at and then like they just get it. They're just like, nope, try it, try it because you might like it. And this was one of those items. Now I don't like the print and I did think that this was oversized. And then once I saw it was an extra large, I understood why. Um, I didn't like the print, but I definitely would consider this brand. And I might have even considered this particular piece in a smaller size and a solid color, um, like in a solid solid colorway and then the final piece in the box was the threads for thought maggie triblin cropped tee it's in a beige it's a size large and it's forty dollars um it did run true to size however i wouldn't pay any amount of money for that shirt it's something that you could totally diy really easy and although i appreciate that threads for thought is a more sustainable company like that's a bonus in my book I feel like the most sustainable option for having a shirt like that is to just do it yourself. Okay, so that's everything um, that was in the box as far as like pricing and sizing. Uh, if you keep all five items in a Stitch Fix box, you do save 25% off your purchase. So um, the subtotal before discount was $347. The discount would have saved you $86.75, of course, if you were keeping all the pieces. And then that would make the subtotal $260.25. And then, of course, you have to add on ship, or not shipping, uh, tax, um, if there's sales tax in your state. All right. This box 
was probably one of the best boxes that I have received in over a year. I know, I know. And that's even though I only kept one piece out of this box, it wasn't for a lack of effort. I guess that's what I'm getting at. I feel like a lot of the boxes that I've gotten over the last year and some change have just been, let's just throw some basic stuff in a box and see what she keeps. Um, and nothing about Stitch Fix has been very exciting to me. And honestly, like the only reason I was keep, like I continued to open Stitch Fix boxes because you guys enjoy them. Like, you know, if you look at my analytics, Stitch Fix boxes do really well. So I keep opening them. That being said, um, this box, I was excited about some of the pieces. Um, I was surprised by some of the pieces. I, I was delighted by some of the pieces and like that's the feeling that I want to get when I'm opening up a style box where somebody has, you know, done the work. And I know there's all this crazy stuff that's happening at Stitch Fix right now and their algorithm has changed and how you get stuff has changed and they're expanding their, you know, way you shop and all this kind of stuff, whatever. But I will, I will continue to say that nothing beats that like, um, that human touch that you get. And I think that's what happened on this box because I rejected everything in the preview, like all the items, none of them. I didn't want any of them. And so I think a stylist had to actually get involved and it worked. Whatever happened in this box, it worked. I would 100% like to have Mary as a stylist again, because I think she gets like the direction that my, um, my clothes are headed. I don't know if I will because you know, I've had a new stylist every single box for like the last 12 months. Um, so, I mean, I won't hold my breath for, you know, getting another good stylist, but a girl can dream, right? All right. Let me know what you all thought of this box. Leave it in the comments below. Um, and let me know what your favorite piece was in this box. If you were surprised by anything and, uh, yeah, I think that's it. Be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss a single video and uh, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. All right, until the next video, live with love. Bye.